So I've got another guest on today's episode. I want to provide a little bit of context before I introduce her. So let's do a quick trip down memory lane. The year is 2008 and I was working a cubicle job as an underwriter in the insurance industry. Anyway, the relevance of 2008 is that this is when I bought my first camera. It was a Nikon D40. This is a DSLR. It was just six megapixels, six. And it didn't even shoot video. But it was the first camera I got. I think I just wanted to have a hobby. I started taking pictures of anything and everything all around and most of it was pretty trash. It was pretty boring stuff. Slowly, as time went on, and they started to get a little bit better and I decided to throw them on a website. It was like a blog of sorts, right? I mean, whatever I did, I went to get a sandwich, this, that, whatever, I just posted it. And then fast forward to a few years later and I get invited to this charity event at a car dealership. It was a fancy event, it was kind of like a gala, lots of people dressed up, kind of local celebrities in Vancouver, and this is where I met Crystal, who's a guest today. By day, she was working her way through the public relations world at a major firm in Vancouver, and by night, she was the editor of this quickly emerging website called Van City Buzz. It's now changed to Daily Hive. And after she saw my photos, she asked me to shoot some stuff for them. And long story short, by getting eyeballs on my work on their platform, I started getting calls about paid work, which is amazing. So Crystal, is a big reason. She was one of the very first people to believe in me or my work or something. Next thing you know, within a few years, I was able to go out on my own and do this for a living, full time. What's also exciting is at the end of the summer, this summer, 2019, Crystal left her job at the PR firm to start her own agency, which is super exciting. Now, having started a brand new business and having been hit with this is kind of a bummer, of course. I think it's better if she explains it to you herself. How, is, how are things for you right now? in light of what's going on. Right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you asked me a couple weeks ago, I probably would have had a bit of a different answer, but I think overall things are, are good. I think comparatively, um, I've been lucky enough to be working with a lot of more online-based businesses mm -hmm. that are sheltered from some of the craziness for now, um, but I think it's just I, uncertain times for everyone at this time. Oh, so. Yeah. Uh, really grateful and happy with the work I have now, but I guess we'll all just see how everything pans out. Yeah. I guess briefly for someone like an idiot like me, uh, would you, what is PR when things are not going horribly wrong? Like what is the basics of, of what PR is? I guess like a really simple way to put it is like PR is your company's reputation, right? So a lot of my work has been on the proactive consumer side of things. So my background is really in consumer PR where I help, you know, kind of like, you know, lots of brands um, portray the right image uh, that they want to with the public. So whether that's through media or digital channels or on social or through events, really just thinking about how can brands create a connection with people. What about for someone like like you, like myself, what is it that you think is, is time well spent right now, given that a lot of things that we would usually be doing, I can't, can't even get close to it, like client interfacing things, for me filming videos. So what do we do? Uh, a few things. I think the first thing is around doing good for the sake of doing good. Now really isn't the time to be looking at your bottom line or you know what product launches you might be having in the pipeline. It's a crazy world and situation out there right now. And companies really need to be focused on what can they do to help and how could they add value and how could they truly make a difference. I was just gonna say, it's kind of funny because in a weird way I've become more social. There's more calls with friends, there's more contact with people who are um, in other countries, Italy, Hong Kong, France, whatever, we're, we're chatting way more frequently. It's like you wanna reach out just to reach out to somebody because you're like stuck at home and you totally. crave that social interaction. So I, it's, I hope it's something that bleeds into regular life whenever it is that, that comes back. Overnight, it's really changed the way that we live our lives, right? Oh, totally. Um, we're living with far less than we ever needed. Humans are amazing that way, that we find creative solutions and ways to break through and really mm -hmm. connect with one another. Like how many people on your Instagram have you seen baking? Yeah, or yeah. Like we, us too, we just <laughs> made <cooking>. cookies. <laughs> Or like trying new recipes or like finding new hobbies yeah. or painting or, you know, like at least for me, how I get through the day is holding on to those cool moments and being like, yeah, 
That's cool. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. What's the most interesting thing you've seen in all of this? Like, how, in terms of how businesses are innovating. I look at my own little world, right? Of like video making, filmmaking, content production. One is the people who are you know considered filmmakers, mm -hmm. Hollywood, etc. Um, they can't work right now. Mm -hmm. Whereas all the people who are considered you know kind of like faux filmmakers, like YouTubers, etc. They're still thriving because they're they make their own content, right? And they they're able to monetize it. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of uh, brands and companies in that in in my world um, try to provide education to stay relevant, right? So whether totally. it's like let's say it's an equipment manufacturer will provide tutorials or or a lighting masterclass for free for you to consume while you're stuck at home, mm -hmm. and I think that's genius because then once you you know if you've learned everything mm -hmm. from this brand then once it's time to buy some lights then you'll probably go to the, that light manufacturer and buy it from them have mm -hmm. you taken any i have i've bookmarked a bunch of them <laughs> but uh what i'm trying to do personally is is double down on making my own content yeah. and i think you should make videos too i do i think uh <laughs> figure out how to use that camera and then just pump some content out slowly over time to be an online expert as well and you never know right? i know you know i always struggle with putting my own face in front of the camera you know pr people are always behind the camera right so i'll have to figure i'll have to figure that out a little bit but yeah who knows maybe a youtube channel coming down the road can can my dog also make it in this video yeah yeah, yeah for sure so this is Jax, he has his Instagram account. <laughs> Follow him. Oh man, if, if only I had my dog here, they're both white too. I know. We should have had the two of them doing the call.